<clears throat> Alrighty, hello YouTube, it's Downey771, and uh, we're Steve, and um, today we are, I'm just going to give you a little update on my, uh, my lower back injury, and uh, what's been going on. So, when I went to the doctor uh, last Monday, they, um, he prescribed to me a, um, a steroid to help with the swelling of the herniated disc, and I took the steroid. Uh, for six days in increments. So on the first day it was six days, second, I mean six pills. Second day, five pills. Third day, four pills, and so on. So I finished those off, and uh, I do believe the swelling has gone down a little bit because I'm not feeling that uh, the the pinch on the nerve that's causing the really start, sharp stabbing pain in my back anymore. So that's good. Um, the back is a little bit sore. I had PT this morning. So it definitely is sore, but I'm not in pain. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. So that's where we stand um, right now. And uh, that's not really the topic of today's video. I wanted to try and change it up a little bit. I know uh, recently all I've really been talking about is uh, my back. And uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Currently, when I record these videos, I record with a Canon US Rebel T3i 18 megapixel DSLR. And uh, it takes great pictures, and I really do like the video quality. Uh, the only thing I would change is that you cannot autofocus uh, when you're taking a video. I would assume I would need a, uh, a remote shutter to do that, but I don't have that right now. Um, maybe I'll get one later. I don't know. But the topic of today's video is trying to improve the sound quality of my videos with an external microphone. There's an internal one on the T3i, and that's what I've been recording with the past few videos. But I decided to go ahead and purchase a external video mic, and this is the one that I purchased. Alrighty, uh, we're going to start with this review. Uh, like I said, I decided to get an external mic to, for my videos, and the product that I'm going to review for you is the Rode Video Micro Compact On Camera Microphone. Decent packaging. Uh, included is with a two year warranty, no battery required, compact size, Rycody Leary suspension mount included. Uh, I'm reading here, uh, included furry windshield for optimum performance and the microphone and the mount. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Alrighty, and we're back. Sorry about that. I had to open it and I don't want to fuss around with it on camera. But, uh, comes just like this. Really, really small microphone, but the T3i isn't a huge camera and I don't want it to take up a lot of space, so I thought this was a good idea and it was fairly cheap and I know that Rode is known for making, uh, decent products. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. You have your uh, spiral cord with the 3.5 millimeter jack. One end goes into the camera and the other end goes into the microphone. We have our quick start guide, shows us how to use it. We have our mount that goes on the microphone mount port for the camera. And we have the actual microphone with this uh, super nice and soft uh, furry noise reductor for when it's windy out and hopefully if I ever take some uh, videos at the park or uh, car videos then uh, I'll definitely let you guys know how it is. So here's the uh, the microphone like I said very small probably about three inches in length maybe about th three fourths of an inch in diameter uh, solid metal construction feels really good um, not too heavy fairly lightweight and uh, Pretty nice. I like the overall quality. This uh, this wind barrier here is really really nice. I like this as well. Nice and soft, nice and thick too. So that should give us some some good uh, some good quality audio when it is uh, when it is windy out. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it all up to the com com camera. And we are going to uh, finish off the review with um, recording the audio with the road video micro microphone. Alrighty, hello YouTube. I now have the video micro from Rode attached to the camera. Um, and I'll show you guys a picture right now. Here it is. 
and uh, I'm just gonna test the audio. I'll talk to you guys for a little bit, and uh, I'll do like a final review, and then that'll be the end of the video. Um, I really didn't have any problems getting it on. The part that attaches to where the speed light would normally go is uh, fairly fairly well constructed. I like the way it ties down the hole in place. It's a really solid construction, uh, even with a good amount of wind. Uh, even if the camera falls over, that microphone is not going anywhere. The only problem that I did have was getting the actual microphone into the holder with the um, with the rubber ring around it to hold the microphone in place. That was a little bit difficult, but now that it's in there, I'll just, if I don't need the mic on there, I'll take it off as a whole when I'm shooting pictures or whatever, and it should be alright. Um, overall, uh, I think it's a good quality build. I like the construction of it. I like how it's all set up. And um, in the next few days, I'll have a true uh, audio test review and see what I think I'll compare what the normal camera audio is to the uh, Rode microphone there. Alrighty, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.